Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how we can change view of list to calendar view. And later on, we will see how we can embed a calendar view of a list into a SharePoint page. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and we will open our site FlyHub on the new tab. Alright, so this is our home page. I will go to site contents. And here on the site contents, I have created one list with the name of flight details. Let me open it in the new tab. Here you can see on this list, I have added few details of my passengers, airline name, start location and end location. These are the details of the passengers. So now I want to change the view to a calendar view. Okay, so now to create a calendar view, we will simply click on this all items. Here we will click on create a new view. Now here, because we are going to create a calendar view, so I will simply give it a name calendar. All right, I will select the calendar and now here you can start a date on the calendar and the end date of the calendar. So I will select it arrival time and here it will be also the arrival time. Now if you want the visibility, if you want this view to be a public view, you can simply just check this box else you can just uncheck it. And now we have a title of items on calendar. So here you can select the titles. These are the column names. Now I will click on create. So here you can see our calendar view is now created. I, you can see these are the entries. Now I will go to the home page. Now we are on the home page of the site. Now we will simply just embed the calendar view of a list on the SharePoint page. So for doing that, we simply need to edit this page. We'll click on this plus. Here we will add the list web part. So we simply need to type list. All right. And now it will give you the, the list names over here. So we will go with the flight details. You can see. And now back again, it's, uh, you know, showing you the normal view. So now we have to switch it back to the calendar view. So for doing that, we simply need to edit this web part. This is the list name. There are multiple lists from you can see over here. So this is our list view. I will select it to calendar. Now the size so you can, you know, select as per your requirement if you want a medium auto size. So I will keep it by default. And now we have the option of show command bar. So this is our basically the command bar. If you want, don't want to show it, you can simply just uh, toggle it. And if you want this see all, so you can just, uh, you know, open it or else you can just uh, close it. And this is a dynamic filtering, which uh, we will not, you know, toggle it. We'll set it to off. Now I will click on apply. And simply we will click on republish. So you can see our calendar view of list fly flight details is here. So now if you want to, again, let me show you something. If you want to edit it, you can just simply, you know, edit the selection. If you want it to on the entire page, you can select to one column. Then if you want it, you can select it two column, three columns, one third and the one third. So it's based on your requirement, like what sort of, you know, the view you want and what sort of a layout you want for your site homepage. So friends, that's how we can create a calendar view and we can embed the calendar view of a list on the SharePoint page. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.